Hello everyone, today we're going to be solving AQA, GCAC Chemistry Higher Tier, Paper 2. Today we're going to be solving June 2019, Part 1, from question number 1, question number 5. This question is about crude oil and hydrocarbons. Figure 1 shows fractionating column used to separate crude oils into fractions. So we have crude oil here, which are going to get divided into fractions like heavy oil, diesel oil, kerosene, petrol, and petroleum gases and bitumen. Table 1 gives information about some of the fractions. We can see between what carbon to what carbon range we get in each type of fuel. Suggest a suitable temperature for the furnace in figure 1. Since bitumen is collected at 450 degrees Celsius, so in order to vaporize bitumen, boil bitumen, we have to have the temperature higher than that, 450 degrees Celsius. So we can have a temperature of 500 degrees Celsius. Explain why diesel oil collects above heavy fuel oil but only below kerosene in the fractionating column. Diesel oil has lower boiling point than heavy fuel oil, but diesel oil has a higher boiling point than kerosene. That's why it is collected in between heavy fuel oil and kerosene. So just two reasons why bitumen is not used as a fuel. Bitumen is too viscous and it is not very flavorable. That's why bitumen cannot be used as a fuel. And it also has a very high boiling point. Petrol contains mainly alkanes. Petrol contains mainly alkanes. Which of the following compound is an alkane? We know that alkane has a general formula of C and H2 and plus 2. There is 6 carbon in this one. Hydrogen will be 2 into 6 plus 2, which is C6H14. So number 3 is an alkane. Large hydrocarbon molecules in the diesel fraction are cracked to produce smaller hydrocarbon molecules. Describe the conditions needed to crack hydrocarbon molecules from the diesel oil fraction. The diesel oil fractions are heated to high temperature and cracked using catalysts like aluminium oxide. Explain why large hydrocarbon molecules in the diesel oil fractions are cracked to produce smaller hydrocarbon molecules. There is a greater demand for smaller molecules because smaller molecules are more useful, they are better fuels, they are used to make alkenes which then can be turned into polymers. Complete the equation for the packing of C5H32, C15H32. We can already see one of the fraction, the fraction is C12. So the other fraction will be C3. Then we need to count the number of hydrogens. So 32 hydrogens were in the original molecule. Let me subtract 26, six hydrogens. This question is about lithium carbonate. Lithium carbonate is used in medicines. Figure 2 shows a tablet containing lithium carbonate. Lithium carbonate contains lithium ions and carbonate ions. A student tested the tablet for lithium ions and for carbonate ions. The student used a metal wire, dilute hydrochloric acid, and lime water. Plan an investigation to show the presence of lithium ions and carbonate ions in the tablet. You should include the results of the tests for the ions. So in order to do this particular investigation, what we have to do is we have to crush the tablet, either dissolve it in water or we will dissolve it in acid. Then we're going to take a clean piece of wire. We're going to place that wire on that particular solution. And then we are going to place that wire in a non-luminous flame of Bunsen burner. We're going to observe the flame. Since a lithium ion is present, so a crimson color, a crimson color will be observed. A crimson flame will be observed. Now to test for the carbonate, what we're going to do is we're going to add the hydrochloric acid and we're going to notice some effervescence. Once we notice some effervescence, we will collect the gas and we will bubble the gas through lime water. Once we bubble the gas through lime water, the lime water will become cloudy. So this will confirm the test for carbon dioxide. And when we add acid to a carbonate, it releases carbon dioxide, which will then in turn confirm the carbonate. The tablet contains other substances. The substances in tablets are present in fixed amounts. What name is given to mixtures like tablets? A tablet that is made of many types of mixture are often called formulation. The tablet has a mass of 1.2 grams and contains 700 milligrams of lithium carbonate. Calculate the percentage by mass of lithium carbonate in this tablet. First of all, we will convert the 1.2 grams into 1200 milligrams. Then we are going to divide 700 with the 1200 milligram and then we will multiply it by 100. This will give us the percentage by mass of lithium, which is 58.3%. 
This question is about the rate of reaction. A student investigated the rate of reaction between magnesium and dilute hydrochloric acid. The equation for the reaction is magnesium reacting with hydrochloric acid producing magnesium chloride and hydrogen. Which state symbol in the equation for the reaction does not represent one of the three states of matter? Aqueous. AQ represents to it represents aqueous so this is not one of the three states of matter the student determined the rate of production of hydrogen gas which two pieces of measuring apparatus could the student use to find the rate of production of hydrogen gas so in order to find the rate of hydrogen gas a gas syringe and along with a stopwatch will be necessary able to show the results of the investigation and we can see the rate of production of gas as the time goes, the rate of production decreases. Plot the data on table 2 from table 2 on figure 3 and then draw a line of best fit. Give three conclusions that can be drawn about the rate of reaction between magnesium and dilute hydrochloric acid in this investigation. Use figure 3 and table 2. So, first of all, what we can conclude from the, you know, figure 3 is that decreases as the reaction proceeds and the rate decreases more slowly as the time increases and then eventually at time is equals to 60 seconds, we see the rate becomes completely zero. The student repeated the investigation using dilute hydrochloric acid at a higher temperature. All right, because we are using a higher temperature, then the rate of reaction is going to be faster. All other variables were kept constant. That, mean, that means that the dilute hydrochloric acid is of the same concentration as before. Which two statements are correct? At higher temperature, rate of reactions are faster. So more bubbles are going to be produced in the first 10 seconds. This is a correct statement. All right, activation energy for the reaction was higher? No, activation energy does not change because of higher temperature. Temperature. Magnesium was used up more quickly. Yes, magnesium will be used up more quickly because at higher temperature, rate of reaction is faster. The reaction finished at the same time. The total volume of gas collected was greater. So, this too will be the correct answer. This question is about the corrosion of metal. The corrosion of iron is called rusting. A student investigated the rusting of iron. This is the method used. Set up the test tubes as shown in figure 4. Leave the test tubes for one week. Examine the nails for signs of rust you can see in the test tube one we have iron nailed with water means it's going to rust so let's give a dig mark on this then we have a rubber stopper with dry air since there is no water vapor this will not rust so let's give a cross then we have test tube three with oil and boiled water you see boiled water does not have any oxygen and oil does not allow any oxygen so there will be no rusting in this one as well and then painted iron nail and water this will also not rust as well because there is painting stainless steel iron nail and water will also not rust so rusting will only occur in test tube one then what would happen to the nails in each of the test tube so the answer can be written like this nail one will will rust because air and oxygen and water are present the nail two does not rust because no water nail three does not rust because there is no air or oxygen all right in terms of nail three all right to see in boiled water as i have already told you there is no air or oxygen okay in boiled water so it will not be able to rust the oil layer will prevent oxygen from coming into the water as well then in tube four the nail do not rust because paint is a barrier to the water. In tube 5, the nail does not rust because stainless steel are resistant to corrosion. Magnesium is fixed to some steel ships. Explain how this prevents the steel from rusting. Magnesium is more reactive than iron. So, provides a sacrificial protection by reacting faster than the iron. Explain why aluminium window frames do not corrode after they are made. Aluminium, once they are manufactured, when they are hot, they react with oxygen in the air and form aluminium oxide coating. So the aluminium oxide coating that remains on top of that particular you know, aluminium acts as a protective barrier and protects the metal from further corrosion from air, water, oxygen from reaching the particular metal. So it remains as it is and it does not corrode. This question is about combustion of fossil fuels. Some central heating boilers use wood as a fuel. Suggest two reasons why wood is more sweet, sustainable than natural gas as a fuel for central heating boilers. Wood is renewable because we can grow wood naturally. 
but natural gas is a finite source. It takes millions of years for you know natural gas to form underneath the earth. The burning of wood produces the same amount of carbon dioxide as the tree absorbs, which makes wood a green solution for you know central heating boilers. All right, because when we are going to try to grow that particular wood, then the production of the particular wood will absorb the same amount of carbon dioxide from the air it offsets when it is burned. Natural gas is mainly methane. When methane burns, it can produce both carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Explain what? Explain the process by which carbon monoxide can be produced when methane is burned. When there is not enough oxygen present in the burning of that methane, then incomplete combustion occurs, which produces toxic gases like carbon monoxide. Balance the equation for the combustion of methane to produce carbon monoxide. So, since we have four hydrogen here, so we can give two H two O. This makes four hydrogen on the right hand side. Since there is a carbon here, we can give one carbon here. So, this makes one oxygen plus two oxygen equals to three oxygen in total. So, we can either put one and half. O2 because when we multiply one and a half with two we get three O back again or we can multiply the entire equation by two so in that way this is going to be two this one will be three and this one will be two and this last one will be four propane burns to form carbon dioxide and water propane plus oxygen produces carbon dioxide and water this is a complete combustion 3.6 dm cube of carbon dioxide is produced when a sample of propane is burned in 7.25 dm cube of oxygen. Calculate the volume of unreacted oxygen. Give your answer in cm cube. So this particular question is totally based on calculation. What we will have to do is we will have to decide on that it is 1 is to 5 is to 3 is to 4 ratio of this particular chemical reactants and products. So first of all what we need to do we need to find out the ratio of you know oxygen is to carbon dioxide O2 is to CO2 which is 5 is to 3. The required amount of oxygen will be 3.6 dm cube of CO2 will require 3.6 divided by 3 multiplied by 5. So 6 dm cube of oxygen will be required. The unreacted oxygen will be 7.25 dm cube minus 6 dm cube and then we will get 1.25 dm cube as unreacted oxygen. The oxygen unreacted which is we get in 1.25 dm cube needs to be converted into cm cube so we will multiply it with 1000 and the answer will be 1250 cm cube. So the, guys, that's all for today's question paper. Up until question number five. Guys, see you in the next video. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.